Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to BeamNG. Today we're having a look at the Blackpool Sand Shark. This is an off-road buggy mod. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below and it looks really cool. It's based on the Aerial Nomad, which is um, made by the company who also made the Aerial Atom. It's an off-road buggy, rear-wheel drive, lightweight. You can see a sort of skeletal-like structure, almost scaffolding um, or a roll cage for a body. The exterior looks great and on the interior, again, it's quite basic, but um, we can see the engine back there. Vivace engines are used in this mod um, and we've got a digital display here showing us water temperature, fuel and our speed and the tachometer. So yeah, we are on the industrial site map, which is a site which is a map I haven't really um, explored that much in this game. There are eight trim levels to experience, whoa, but they're all rear wheel drive. So You'd think that would mean it's not very good off-road, but because the engine is right at the back, you have quite a lot of grip. Now this is a cool sort of... Whoa, we can do a jump there. Look at that. So we're literally in the basic model. Which I think has the 1.3 petrol. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Here we go. Jump. Yeah. Whoa. So we're looking for some kind of dunes to race around, because this is what this car is brilliant at. Anything to do with deserts and sand beaches. This car is an absolute beast on. Okay, here we go. This is pretty good. Whoa. Let's look at the body roll. It really does whoa, emulate what a lot of off-road buggies do. You know, they make buggies out of Beetles and Fiat 500s and lots of old classic cars. Um, but there is kind of a... Whoa. There is kind of a um, demand for more modern uh, off-road buggies, which I guess the Aerial Nomad really caters to. You can actually drive them on the road, I believe. Oh my goodness. Whoa. There we go. And you know what? On the road, it handles pretty well. So this is literally the slowest, and it's pretty fast. Look at this. I'd be happy with this performance. Yeah, brilliant. Whoa. See, this is by Siffy. Please go and support the mod creator by downloading it from the link in the description. Okay. And if you enjoy this kind of car review, um, please like the video and let me know because I'm wondering whether to do more scenarios or whether you guys like me doing car reviews. Anyway. Whoa. No antelope brakes. So that was the off-road 130. The off-road uh, off 160 is a sequential. Let's see how much faster that is. In orange. This is actually the design that the Aerial Nomad has in real life. It's orange. How much faster is it? Whoa, the sequential gearbox is crazy. Yeah, uh oh. So yeah, crash physics, it's a pretty strong car, which doesn't really suggest very much realism to me. I know that it is just a roll cage on wheels, but I think it should be a bit uh, less strong than that. Whoa. So yeah, this thing's fast. Let's get through here. Whoa, it's like Jim Carner. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Oh yeah, this is this car is absolutely in its element here. Look at that spare wheel on top of the engine. That's cool. Again, the interior exactly the same. Whoa! Can we can we drive up these things? I don't know. I don't think you can. I think they're just for show. And here we are on the beach. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting stuck. Okay, no. On the beach. Yeah. Oh, this car's brilliant on sand. Wow. That's cool. Okay. Let's switch to another car. So we've done that one. Now the 220. The 220 is the fastest off-road version. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this handles. Whoa, sequential again. We're doing fourth. Drifting in fourth. That's crazy. Okay. We need to find somewhere to time trial this thing. So there is a... What's this? No, we don't want to do container land. Um, industrial course. Industrial course. Warehouse run. That could be quite cool. Oh, container land perimeter. We'll have to do that. So let's um, quick travel to there. Container land perimeter. Here we go. What, we've got to get over this thing. Whoa. 
<laughs> that is a big jump. Okay. Right. How are we going to do on this? Internal perimeter. Start. Just one lap. Here we go. Come on, baby. We can do this. Right. Straight over here. Jump. Whoa. That wasn't good. Oh, no. Rear left axle is somehow broken. Oh, no. Start again. Right. First person view, I think, is needed for this. Definitely. Here we go. See, I love doing vehicle reviews, but let me know if you want to see something like... Maybe I could do like a joint vehicle and map review so you get more content in each video. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or maybe you want to see some like scenario gameplay or something. Where am I going? Down here, right. Okay, this is quite difficult. Container around perimeter. We're not really going around the perimeter. We're going... Uh-oh. We're pretty much in the container port. Whoa, there's a big ditch here with water in it. Okay, we're going up. Nice. We made it. Yeah, the rear wheel drive aspect of this car makes it a bit challenging. Because you'd expect it to be four wheel drive, but it doesn't really... Whoa. It doesn't really need four wheel drive. Okay, back. Back, 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 back. Up. Yes. Perfect. I'm sure you could do this a lot quicker than me. Yes, come on. Don't, no, 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 don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. Oh my goodness. That was so close to disaster. Right. Run up. There we go. And over the finish line. The front wheel is a bit damaged, but there we go. 1 minute 12 is terrible. Anyway, continue here. So now we're going to go and teleport over to the container port. Not the container port. The freight yard. Or tank farm. That's fine. I don't know what these places are called. I don't play this map enough. Um, and now there's the street version. So we just drove the off-road ones. These are the ones built for street driving. Here we go. Here we go. So again, exactly the same design, but a bit lower. Maybe we can get this thing to drift. Uh, whoa. I don't know. I like the blue, actually. I, li I like the blue. It's a bit garish, but I do like the blue. Whoa. If you had a bit more power and like a locked differential or something, or like a limited slip differential, that would make this thing a bit easy to drift. Right. It's so quick to respond on the throttle. Really agile. And it's quite small as well, which means we can sort of chuck it around this uh, container port. Whoa, let's go through the warehouse. Ooh, perfect. That was actually perfect. Okay. But the 130 really is not what we want to see. We want to see something a bit more powerful. So, the 160. We're just going to build it up and up and up. The 160 sequential. Now we've got some drifting. Yes. Look at that thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. It's good fun. Whoa. That's some cones there. <laughs> Don't know what they were there for. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Let's go this way then. So yeah, what, what are all the places here? There's a container port, but then is that like a... I don't know, like a oil refinery? Gas refinery? I don't know. It's quick. Much harder suspension, so you can take corners very quickly. Look at that. Yes. Brakes again. Lack of anti-log. Takes some getting used to. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It has got a horn as well. Whoa, which I think is a legal requirement for cars on the road. Anyway, there is a um, time trial there. So we're going to go to the next one up. The 220. Mid-range, which is interesting. Mid-range, okay. This is the mid-range one, so it should be pretty fast. Yeah, just feel it. Okay, and we're going to do the figure of eight industrial course. Just one lap, and then we'll do um, a lap in the next car up, and finally in the race version. The fastest one. Whoa. Again, I like the colour. I think if you're going to have this car, get it in a really bright colour, right? Come on. We've got a bit of an off-road here. But that's okay. Or quite a bit of an off-road. Uh-oh. 
This isn't good. Oh, no. That was a disaster. I didn't expect it to be so much off-road um, on this course. Because it's brilliant on the street. But really not very good off-road. The, the suspension is way too hard. And the tyres are not designed for it. I wonder if you can make like a sort of a, um, a cross between the off-road and the street version. That'd be cool. Like an ambidextrous version. What? What? Oh, I think I was meant to take that jump. I think I was meant to take that jump, but it's okay. We'll do that next time. Stop! Oh my goodness, we're losing traction. Go! The throttle response is just amazing. Okay. Perfect. Uh, continue at start. Bang. Control E. Right. The Street 310, the Black Beast. Made for neck-breaking track speed and lap times. Okay. Here we go. One lap. We're going to take the jump properly this time. Here we go. Look at the wheels. Whoa! Oh, this thing's, even, this thing's insane! And this isn't even the top model. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Whoa! Right, you have to take the jump, remember? Oh no! Uh oh. That's not good, we're straight in the tree. Okay, it's actually quite difficult to take that jump properly, so... Let's try it again. Come on! We can do it properly this time. The, the tire is already deflated, what the heck? How did that happen? It seems to be driving fine though, so... How did that happen? What is wrong with the tyre? Okay. I guess it was so much talk at the start, I might have burst the tyre, I don't know. Okay, that... Oh my goodness. Well, okay, okay. That is really difficult. So what I'm going to do, we're going to move straight on to the other car. How do I abandon? Abandon, there you go. We're going to move straight on to the, the fastest version. The Street 450, 458 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. This is this is crazy. So one lap. Can I do this properly with this car? I'm hoping that the better like aerodynamics of this will make it easier to control. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not easy to control. We've got slick tires on this thing. Come on. Right, it actually does feel a bit better, yeah. N that tree is the bane of my existence, come on. We can do it. Take it slowly around that corner. Let's go into um, bonnet cam, there you go. Whoa! Through here, yeah, right. Control it. That's about as good as we can hope for. Um, ooh, don't flip. Right, we, we made it over, which is good. Here we go. Through here, round. Go, go. Oh my goodness, no! I don't believe it. Can we make it to the finish line? Uh, kind of. How are we doing this? Uh, come on! 11 miles per hour, turbocharger overheating. Oh no. You know, I think we're actually going to beat the time of the other car, even des despite we've lost a tyre. Wow. Uh, no. It was 39 seconds in that other one. Continue at start. Abandon. Okay, so that was the Blackpool Sand Shark. As we go for a little test drive in this thing for real, instead of crashing it on a time trial. Whoa! This is so quick. I want to thank you very much for watching. Um, please like this video and let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments down below. Um, make sure to check out the mod in the description. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. And recommend me some other mods for me to try out. 
in the description, uh, sorry, in the description there's a link to the Discord server where there's a suggestions channel specifically for like BeamNG or video ideas. And of course you can just let me know in the comments down below and I will check all of those out. Whoa, that is a pretty wrecked car. So, from me and BeamNG with the Blackpool Sandshark, I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Also remember to join my Discord server from the link in the description.